In today's video, we're talking about a brand new extension for Premiere Pro, and it's called Premiere Pro FX. It was created by Phantasma, who is the creator of Cinepunch. And with it, you can create all sorts of cool effects, including VHS looks, split screens, and motion camera effects, and much, much more. All right, let's go ahead and show you how it works. You can purchase the extension from Video Hive, which is on Envato Market. And I reached out to Phantasma and he said, because it's a tool and a panel, you actually only have to purchase it once and you get unlimited use. It says here on the support tab here. Excuse me, um, I'm looking here at the regular license and it says you can only use it in a single end product. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say here on the support page. You only have to buy it once, unlimited use. But why does the official Envato license say here otherwise? What if I call Envato right now and ask them just to confirm? Will that help? Okay, call, I'm waiting. Okay. Good day, gal. How are you going? I'm just here watching the Australian Open down under. Hey, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. But I heard that Nick Kyrgios is out because of an injury. Oh yeah, I know. It's such a shame. I love Nick. He's the best. So, hey, Sorry to interrupt, but I have a subscriber right here and they have a question. They want to purchase Phantasma, but it says a regular license can only be used in one end product. But then on the support page for Phantasma, he says that you can actually use it in any number of videos, unlimited use. You know, right now we're down under, it's summertime, we're a bit behind. So if the author says it's unlimited, then it's unlimited. Oh, that's so great to hear. That's what we thought. But hey, I gotta jump back into a video here. Uh, let's talk soon and catch up, all right? Cheers, no worries. All right, thanks, bye. Oh, come on, Kokinakis. Where's Nick when we need him? Are you convinced now? But what about the extended license? So the extended license is the same, except with the extended, you can use it for films and TV shows that make money. Let's say I have to edit a, a film or a TV show for Netflix. Should I get the extended license then? Yes, exactly. Are we good now? I believe you now, bye. So the panel here, it has over 10,000 different effects. And when you have the extension open up in Premiere Pro, you can browse by all these categories from the Effects Master Studio. And when you hover over one of the effects, it actually previews it with a sound effect. So you can go through all of the different categories here to preview the effects before you apply them. Sorry, me again. I have one more question. How many computers can I use a license on? You know that all this information is on the support page, right? Uh, sorry, I forgot about it. It's okay. Well, you can use your license on four of your devices. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm just gonna sit down here and just listen, is that okay? Yeah, at this point, okay. might as well just make yourself at home. All right, so now let's do the demo and show you how it works. So here in my timeline, I have this break dancer. What if I want to apply a VHS look to it? From VHS looks, you can see over here that there are so many to choose from. And there's one down here that I really like, and it has the cropped edges. And I'm going to double click to apply it. And if your timeline is not at the beginning, select the timeline and press the up key to go back to the beginning of the clip and then double click to apply it. And look at that, it imports the VHS effect and the two audio clips beneath. And actually, if you select all of them and roll this out, you can extend the effect and the audio to the duration of the clip, which is really unique to this pack. Pretty sweet. So I could see myself using this in a lot of music videos because this is a pretty hot look right now. There's so many effects in the effects master, but let's go and show you some transitions. Here I have the same dancer, but this time I want it to transition to this guy dancing. So I'm going to press the up arrow key to go to that cut point. Let's try the slides basic effects. All right, let's double click. And that looks pretty cool. Oh, one question about this. Does this effect adapt to every aspect ratio, like vertical and square and landscape? Yeah, of course it will adapt to the vertical. Let me show you how it works. Oh, great. So here I have the same clips, but in a vertical sequence. And let me just go ahead and press the up arrow key to go to that cut point. 
and let's apply the same transition. There we go. It works. But let's go on to another effect. So here I have this dancer on the pier. And what if I want to add a cool color grade? I can go to the Color Master Studio and let's try a dystopian look. Let's click on this. And I starred this one because I liked it. And let's go ahead and double click to apply the dystopian look to the footage. And once again, we can lasso and select both of the clips and drag it out so it fits the duration of the video clip. So I think it looks a lot better than before. Next, I wanna make a crop out film frame and some film effects beneath it. So first let's go to looks and effects and let's go to the film effects builder. And here I'm going to apply this film look. So now we have this kind of film distortion on top. Now we can add a frame. We can go to framing and letterbox and you can see that there's a bunch of different letterbox crops and film looks. And there's some with like the film holes in the corner. So many to choose from. And I'll select this one here, double click to apply it. And this is the result. Again, a very good music video effects. We didn't have to apply any effects. We didn't have to do any cropping, super fast. And it's all here organized. And by the way, you've noticed the playback. It's super fast. I have full resolution 4K and no rendering needed to happen. Okay, here's another effect idea. What if you wanna make it look like regular footage is being shot on a security camera? So if you're working on a film and you have a shot where, you know, somebody is breaking into a home and you wanna make it look like it's coming from the security camera. If I go to this clip here, by the way, all the stock footage is from Envato Elements. You can see here that he's jumping in. Let's go to the security camera effects and apply this one. And then we can roll it out to the end of the clip and here's the result. It even has a little cam ticker here and a record button. And all of this will adapt to any aspect ratio. And they have different colors. So if you prefer green, blue, kind of distorted color and another green look, really, really useful. And by the way, I'm Kelsey. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And if you wanna nerd out about video editing stuff and learn from more of my live workshops, you can join my super peer community, superpeer.com slash gal. And I just connected up a discord server. So go check that out. And now let's show you some more effects with the Premiere Pro effects extension. So here's a tripod shot of people playing basketball. What if you wanna make it look handheld and go out of focus a little bit, just to give it a bit more dynamism, right? What we can do is go to the camera motion effects studio. And you can see that there's different types of camera movements. You can see the camera loop. There's some 3D camera moves that you can try out, but then there's a handheld camera. And there's one that I really like here that I starred. It makes it go out of focus a little bit as it shakes. Double click to apply it and roll it out. And now you can see as we play it back, it kind of goes a little bit out of focus and shakes a little bit. What if this is an intro to something or a title card? So what we need to do first is go to the type tool and let's type out basketball and let's update the font and the size real quick and let's center align it. Now let's add a little text bounce animation. So now with it selected, go back to your Premiere Effects extension and let's go to the text animation and effects studio and let's select animation bounce. I like this one, let's try this. And now we can see it imports the animation layer and the sound. Now I'm going to move up this handheld effect and bring this over underneath. But watch what happens. It also animates the background. So to get rid of that, we have to create a nest on all three of these clips to isolate this effect. So we can select and press shift all these clips, right click and select nest and press okay. And now, Nice. And even the out of focus handheld affects the text layer because it's beneath that layer. And this is how it looks. That looks really cool and we didn't have to do any keyframing at all. So these are just quick little presets that you can drop on your text layers, but remember to nest it if you wanna use it with footage. My next favorite effect is 
the multi-screen effect, which is inside of the screen master. And you can go ahead and click on multi-screen kit and you're given all of these animated split screen styles. I mean, there's so many of them here and it will give you placeholders then put your footage in. So for this demo, I'm just gonna do a two split to show you how to use the placeholders. Let's double click on this one and then it automatically imports the placeholders for you. So if I wanna replace these images with my actual video, I can double click on placeholder one. And now I can drag in my stock video clip on top here, and then we can see what it looks like. That's looking good. And again, placeholder two, drop in the clip and then resize it. There we go. And look at that. No animation, just the placeholders, and you have a split screen. So now let's talk about speed and how to get the panel working right on your hardware, right? So you wanna make sure that your computer has at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has it here on the support page. And in terms of graphics cards, you need to make sure that your system works with Mercury Playback Engine GPU Accelerated, OpenCL GPU Accelerated, or CUDA. And you need an SSD or flash drive internal. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and the right graphics card, but my Premiere Pro keeps crashing. What am I doing wrong? So this is actually a good question. If you're experiencing delays, you should make sure that you're clearing your cache regularly because otherwise it's gonna slow down Premiere Pro and that's when it starts to crash. But how do you clear a cache? Go to Premiere Pro Preferences, Media Cache, and click on Delete media cache files or you can go exactly to this location folder and you can actually manually drag them into your trash bin. And one other thing to think about is you might be overwhelmed by the fact that there's 10,000 effects in this panel, right? That's like so much, you're probably not gonna use all of them. I know that I'm not gonna use all of them right now, but if there are a few effects in there that you need right now, then it's worth it. It's just $59 once and you have all of it for life. And let me know if you have any more oh, questions. I have a question. What about if there's a new update? Do I get it for free if I buy it once? Yes, Phantasma will give you updates for free and those updates will appear inside of your Envato account and you can download it. And right now Phantasma is working on some new music stems and some trailer effects. So that's gonna be pretty cool, right? Oh, that's great. Yeah, it is. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. If you wanna learn about Phantasma's other products like Cinepunch, you can watch my review right over here. And if you need some more help and you wanna join my editing community, you can check it out right over here. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.